What's up guys, Rand Racer here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys a quick in-depth review of the OtterBox Defender Series case for Apple's new iPad Mini. This case was sent for review, so of course I'd like to take this opportunity to thank OtterBox for sending me one of their amazing products. And of course, without further ado, let's slice this thing open, slap it on the iPad, and give you guys my full in-depth review. To open the packaging up, it's pretty simple. Just take the uh, top flap here, pull it open. We do also get a little pamphlet here that shows you how to install the case as well as how to use the versatile device uh, cover here. And of course, here is the case itself. Uh, we'll just pop off the cover for now and come back to that later. So as with past OtterBox Defender Series cases, the iPad Mini Defender case is definitely no exemption uh, in terms of design and uh, the features that it offers. The case offers a hybrid polycarbonate and silicone design that gives you best of both worlds with silicone material absorbing energy impacts in case you drop uh, your iPad mini and of course the polycarbonate part of the case that gives it structure and to hold your iPad mini in place. To install the case is pretty simple. First off, uninstall the case by pulling off the silicone material. Next grab the polycarbonate case and detach, uh, detach the clip so you can undo the case into while we have the cases apart, let's take a look at the inside and what this case has to offer on the interior. The back part of the case does feature two large foam pads to protect the back of the iPad. The front part of the case here does feature a built-in screen shield onto the case itself, which is definitely a nice plus for most people as installing such a large screen shield on the iPad mini is definitely not the most fun thing to do, but nonetheless, this is definitely a nice added bonus with this particular case. Now to install the case is pretty simple. First off, before you do anything, make sure your iPad's clean, free of dust and debris, fingerprints and all that stuff. Just grab a clean cloth, wipe it down any of that stuff that's still on your iPad. Next, take the back part of the case here, take your iPad mini, place it on the back part. Next, take the front part of the case here, put it on top, and just snap the two pieces together. Once you have the two plastic pieces together, grab the silicone part of the case and just wrap it around the polycarbonate part of the case. And of course, once you're done, here's the end result, a fully protected, secure OtterBox Defender case for your iPad Mini. Taking a little quick overview of the case itself, on the front here, we do have the case that protects the borders with the plastic part, the sides with the silicone part, and of course, a built-in screen shield to protect the inner screen. On the top part of the case here, we do have a cutout for the eyesight camera, as well as the light sensor. And of course, on the bottom part of the case here, we do have a built-in button on the, on the side of the case here, we do have built-in volume rockers on the silicone material. Well, generous flap here for your orientation or mute switch. On the top of the case here, we have a cover for the power button and of course just like the volume rockers, you still get a nice tactile feedback. A cutout for the top microphone and of course a flap for the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the bottom part of the case here, we do have two large cutouts for the stereo speakers as well as a large protective flap for the lightning port. On the back of the case here, we do have the OtterBox logo engraved on the bottom part. And of course, a generous cutout for the iPad mini camera. One of the things that you find missing on the iPad mini Defender case in comparison to the original um, iPad Defender case is that OtterBox didn't include a cutout for the Apple logo. I'm not sure why OtterBox didn't include this with the mini Defender case, but nonetheless, it's definitely a dis distinctive feature that the Defender case did offer for not just the iPad, but you know, other devices, especially with the iPhone 4S and of course the iPod Touch Defender series cases. The other feature that I found missing on the Mini Defender case was the diamond grip texture design on the sides of the OtterBox uh, Defender case. The original iPad did have this, which I really liked. It gave it a lot more grip while holding the case. And considering you can hold the uh, Mini Defender case with one hand, it would have been definitely a nice added feature, not only for functionality, but also aesthetics. In terms of using the iPad with the built-in screen shield on the OtterBox Defender, as you guys can see here, the touchscreen isn't affected at all. Because the screen shield is a glossy type display, it doesn't distort or affect the display in any way while using the device. Even though it is a glossy type screen shield, OtterBox has done a great job at creating a screen shield that resists fingerprints. Overall guys, my first impressions on the OtterBox Defender case for the iPad Mini is pretty positive. Just like the original iPad Defender case I reviewed in the past, the Mini Defender case is just as good amount of protection as the original. Like with most OtterBox cases, the OtterBox Defender case for the iPad Mini does add a little bit of bulk. However, the added benefit, of course, is you get a full body protective design that protects your iPad Mini from drops, bumps, bruises, and scratches. However, the added benefit with this additional bulk is that it definitely makes it a lot more easier and more comfortable to hold the iPad Mini, especially with one hand. 
Taking a look at the versatile cover that OtterBox includes with the Defender case is first off, it does work as a cover. All you have to do is take the cover itself, place it on top of the iPad, and just press down until the four corners snap into place. The main purpose of the cover, of course, is to protect the front iPad screen. Although at first it might not seem very handy, it's definitely a nice, it's definitely a nice included option as, for example, if you're in a hurry and you want to throw your iPad in a bag full of books or you know other stuff, having this cover on definitely helps, uh, gives you the uh, sense of security that it will protect the screen from any bumps or bruises or you know from stuff pressing onto it that might damage it. The other unique feature about the uh, versatile cover, of course, is the built-in stand option, which is something I'll probably use more than the cover itself. First off, you do have a few different levels you can set the iPad at. Here's a more higher angle that you can uh, use your iPad to stand at. For example, if you want to you know, search your website, um, watch uh, movies, movies or stuff on it, it's definitely a great angle to set at uh, with this uh, particular height. As you saw earlier, you can of course set this up as a portrait mode. And of course, you can set the iPad at a lower angle, which is really good for typing up notes or emails or you know anything like that that makes it a lot more comfortable for typing. In conclusion guys, I definitely recommend the OtterBox Defender case for the iPad Mini. For those of you looking for an all-around case and your first and only case that you think you need for the lifetime of an iPad, you can definitely depend on the OtterBox Defender case that will protect your iPad. OtterBox has done a pretty amazing job in terms of designing a bulky case while keeping the overall streamlined look of the iPad. Retailing at $69.99 is definitely not the cheapest case around, but nonetheless you're definitely paying for quality, protection, and a case that will definitely last. And if that's too much for you, you can always find good deals such as Amazon.com here. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed us. And of course, if you guys have any questions or comments, ask away down in the comment section there down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.